Here we're looking at a 2007 Shelby GT500. I will be doing a full extensive video review of this car when I was driving on Canyon Roads. So here we go. This is a 2007 Shelby GT500. It has the 5.4 liter supercharged V8, putting out 500 plus or minus horsepower and 480 pound-feet of torque. Um, there are SVT gauges on the inside, as, a, as you can see. Um, there's a Shaker 500 audio system with a short throw shifter that you can really feel the difference between the regular shifter. All leather interior and ample space in the back. You're looking at the 5.4 liter supercharged V8 that puts out 500 horsepower at 6,000 RPM and 480 pound-feet of torque. It's plus or minus just because he's added a couple of mods like Borla exhaust, but yeah. All right, here we go. Mode 60 in three seconds. Seriously, 3.2. That was 60. Yep. Holy. Sixty, gonna try to do this. Careful, I know. I got this. All right, I got it. Yeah, so uh, I went up to this guy's. Uh, I met this guy. He was like a little rich guy. He's got like fifty other muscle cars, in the garage, and uh, they're all like 1968, like Dodge Charger RTs, you know, '69 Mustangs, stuff like that. And he's like, this was his first uh, modern muscle car. It's, it just didn't suit him. This is just so he just sold it to me for well, yeah, five. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> just give it so much power. Told you I was gonna screech. So here we are. Okay, go. That was seventy. Uh, so that was a good O to seventy. So, I got in the driver's seat, um, and just taking this car on some nice twisties, it feels really good. It uh, handles really well. Um, only complaint I have, it's a little bit tough for these kinds of roads, especially daily driving. It's a little bit hard in the suspension, but that kind of gets negated by the amount of the surge of power you get when, when you step on the accelerator, and there's a light up there. So, the short shifter feels really, really good. It's it really short throws, really responsive changes. It takes me or half the amount of time as in my car to shift. And it's just so much more fun to drive. Fuel economy is not bad either, I assume, when you're driving it normally. But the way that I, I would drive this car, I would get like two miles to the gallon. About 10. 10? 10 to 14 when you're racing it. Well, that's Otherwise, awesome. uh, 17 to 22. So that's not bad for a supercharged engine. Yeah. Well, okay. Just the chance to drive this car is ridiculous. Like, like, honestly, this this doesn't like. It feels like a dream come true. It, it, it feels like I'm just driving my Mustang. It feels like a normal Mustang with a lot more ponies under the hood. And yeah. you can feel that when you stick your foot on the gas. Yeah. Because that was just three thousand five hundred RPM. I'm not going sixty now. So it's just okay. It's really yeah. In like a quarter second. Downshifts are a lot smoother than my normal Mustang. And you can downshift from a lot of a higher rev. But now we're on twisties and on Foothill Road. Okay, yeah, I know exactly where we are. And these are a lot of fun to drive. I took actually. this I took this the other night. It's this gearing just feels so smooth. Like in my car I would be bucking and pulling. This car is just so smooth when it shifts, the shifts are smooth, everything is so smooth. Uh, the ride's hard, as I said before. I'm in second gear right now, going 40 miles an hour at 3,000 RPM. This is... I don't even have to shift as much. Say, we're on Calgary. The other one was Calgary. Oh, dear. That was a pull. That was a pull to 80. Uh, right, uh, go down a little bit. 
Here's Chris's uh, Shelby GT500 2007. Awesome kid, he let me drive this car. So let's see what it can do. 